Got some bad news. Bad news. Right now, everyone's over there. Lou, you're just... All you want to do is... You're always bashing. Apple, I love Apple. I have so many Apple products, all right? I don't... I don't live my life to bash Apple. I love Apple products. I use MacBooks. Jack has a MacBook. Kirk has a MacBook. Willie Doo's looking at a MacBook right now. We got him. Apple has taken so many dollars from me. Why don't you hear me out? This is the new MacBook Air. I was excited about this. In fact, I made a video where I said that this might be the best laptop for most people. I have a problem with the keyboard on this that's driving me bananas. This was my everyday laptop. It was sitting at my house, I was getting things done, and all of a sudden the keyboard started to misbehave in such a fashion that could just drive you nuts. I went on Twitter and I was like, anyone else experiencing issues with the butterfly key switches on the new MacBook products? Pop, 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 the replies came in. This is a thing, it's, it's like fairly widespread. Like people have had issues with these butterfly key switches on the MacBook Pros before this, and it was supposed to be fixed. They put a membrane in here, which was supposed to protect this keyboard from similar issues that had plagued the previous versions. Now, you might be sitting there and saying, okay, that's a new laptop. We watched the unboxing video, Lou. Like you can just go to Apple and have them fix it. But there's a lot of people out there who buys one of these things and then a year after you've had it, you start to experience something like this. Okay, what is my issue that's driving me nuts? It's the kind of issue where you're just getting work done and then you go back and you look at the email you just crafted and you're like, that's not what I typed. Check this out. Hopefully Jack can see this. We can look at this real time. My issue is with the E key. Something weird happens where I'm getting extra E's or spaces when I'm using E's. Let me show you what I mean. Look at this. This is insane. You, you have no idea when or where it's going to present itself. It's something to do with the E key. And sometimes you'll just get two key presses instead of one. And sometimes, look at that. Sometimes it'll like miss a key press, like single press, two E's, sometimes three. And this can pop up in sentences unexpectedly. There. That's what it does. More often than not, that's what it does. You get the extra E, then you hit the space, then it delivers another E on the beginning of the next word. There. That's what it does. That's, that's what it does. Unexpectedly, you get this weird situation where after an E, you hit the space, it delivers another E. There, boom. Same thing. If you're writing a paragraph or something, this inevitably pops up at some point. And because it creates another word, the autocorrect doesn't really work properly because it doesn't know what EU is, like in this case, obviously. Look, I'm gonna take it in. I'm gonna get it fixed. I'm sure Apple will fix it up. But after calling this thing possibly the best laptop for most people, I just felt like I couldn't leave it there having experienced this issue myself this may pop up for you a year from now and you might not have any warranty coverage and you might have to go out of your way to buy another system and you might not have the money for that so it's hard to continue to call this thing the best laptop for most people at least in my personal circumstance i'm sure there are units out there that are working completely fine this is not one of them if you're in the market to buy one of these things it's something worth knowing